My name is Jairo Pineda, an audio engineer who helps out at Voice123. We'll be talking about common voiceover audio recording problems and its possible fixes. A link to our full how to edit voiceovers piece on our voiceover guide is found in the description below. Today we're going to talk about mouth clicks. Quick definition. What are mouth clicks? Why do they happen? Mouth clicks are noises our mouths make when it's dry. It happens as our tongue, teeth, and saliva interact, causing little bubbles, clicks, and pops. If you find mouth clicks in your recording, here are some tips on how to remove them in post. We're gonna use Isotope RX8 standard tools, but we're also gonna show you how to fix mouth clicks with the RX Elements tools too. Let's dive into it. So here's a voiceover I recorded previously with mouth clicks between phrases. Hey. Are you feeling a little run down? The mouth clicks are distracting. I'm gonna select the affected region and I'm gonna open the mouth click tool, which is only available in Isotope RX Standard and Advanced Editions. There are three settings in mouth the click. The first one is the sensitivity. The second one is frequency skew, which helps you isolate clicks based on its frequency. And the third one is click widening, which helps set the length in time for clicks. Let's set the click widening to 0.6 seconds and leave the other settings as they are. Hey, are you feeling a little run down? The software has removed 68 clicks. Let's go ahead and click the render button. As you can see, most of the mouth clicks are gone, although there's some spectral information still present. Let's have a listen to it. Hey, are you feeling a little run down? I'll use the mouth to click tool again to remove the residual information that the first pass was not able to correct. It's always better to use this tool multiple times with modest settings instead of using it once with aggressive ones. Hey, are you feeling a little run down? Now let's compare the original recording. Hey, are you feeling a little run down? To the final result. Hey, are you feeling a little run down? There are times where mouth clicks can be so aggressive that our standard settings might not work, like this one and strengthen your bones. Face up, and it's available everywhere now. Face up, and it's available everywhere now. Since there's a lot of low frequency information for this particular mouth click, let's lower the frequency skew value to the minimum, so that the software pays special attention to the frequency area. Here's the result. And strengthen your bones. Face up, and it's available everywhere now. You can also get similar results using Isotope RX Elements version by using the DeClick tool. The click has the same settings as Mouth the Click. It's got different algorithms for detecting clicks. We recommend choosing multiband random clicks for mouth clicks. Hey, are you feeling a little run down? And there you have it. These are our tips on how to remove mouth clicks in your recordings. Remember investing time and resources in your pre-production and recording stages will improve your post-production experience. Comment down below if you have more tips and tricks to solve mouth clicks or if you have any additional questions. And be sure to check out our other videos in the series.